This section looks how data is sent across the network from one computer system to another. All computers communicate using a variety of media, light, radio, electrical and microwave. The principles are based on electronics and physics. The following shows the properties of a data transmission being sent from one computer system to another. The sine wave has two properties of interest, amplitude and frequency. A in the following diagram represents amplitude or strength of the signal and can be explained simply by the volume or loudness. The higher the amplitude of the signal, the louder and stronger it is. The lower the amplitude, the quieter and weaker it becomes. With any transmission, higher amplitude signals will travel further. For different systems, amplitude has a different meaning as follows. Radio and microwave both use the same method of transmission, radio waves. For all radio waves, the amplitude of the waveform is measured in metric terms, metres or millimetres. All cables rely on electrical current, the strength of which is measured in volts. The current in a normal data cable is plus or minus 5. Any higher voltage may damage the sensitive computer equipment. A telephone cable can carry up to plus or minus 50 volts. The range of the signal switches from positive to voltage to negative voltage and are referred to as AC, alternating current. With light, the brighter the light source, the stronger the signal. Most fiber optic cables use infrared or laser generated light. The difference between these two light sources affects the distance the signal can travel and the speed of the line. F represents the frequency of the signal. The frequency is the rise and fall of the wave from, from zero to bottom, then to the top and back to zero, shapes like a roller coaster ride. This is called a cycle and is measured in hertz. A low frequency signal has a smaller number of cycles per second. A higher frequency signal can have billions of cycles per second such as gigahertz or megahertz. Based on the technology used on a sine wave, data is transmitted as a square or digital wave. All computers use binary in which each bit of information is represented as a zero for the off state and a one for the on state. The binary is organised in chains of bits called bytes or words according to the system that is going to use it. For example, 01001100 is a single byte that represents the decimal value of 76 or the ASCII or American Standard Code for Information Interchange value of V. Sending data from one computer to another is called encoding and various formats exist according to the system being used wireless, fibre or electrical cable. Common formats are Manchester encoding or Huffman coding. Encoding is not a new concept. It is more than 160 years since Samuel Morse developed Morse code to be used on the new electrical telegraph. He created a system of combinations of two signals, a short pulse called a dot and a long pulse called a dash, the binary 0 and 1. The system was invented so that the telegraph operator could key in a message in any language at a relatively fast speed. Encoding that is used to send data across a computer network is based on a signal square wave, which is an adaption of the sine wave. In order to avoid data being lost or the computer system being confused, which would cause an error, there are two simple rules when sending data. All binary zeros are sent at a high amplitude so that there is no confusion with the power off or no signal being sent. This is like the Morse code dash. All binary ones are sent at mid-range amplitude to contrast with the rules of the binary zero. This is like the Morse code dot. The following diagram that the frequency of the signal is fixed. Although this value may vary according to the speed of the transmission medium, but the amplitude is varied and based on a zero or one coming through the line. To ensure that the data is successfully transmitted, an agreed common method is used for sending the data, one that can be managed by all computer systems. Representing data electronically, computers use bits, bytes 
and data packet structures. A byte is the unit of storage made from 8 bits. A bit has 2 to the power of 8, i.e. 256 possible combinations. Units of storage in computer system operate on the power of 2 because binary has two states, 0 and 1. Because transmission media can be unreliable, transmitting or downloading a file which is over 5 or 6 kilobytes in size is also unreliable. To make transmission data more reliable, a large quantity of data is divided into small packets. These can easily be resent if the data is found to be damaged. Different methods are used for structuring packets. Each packet normally has information to identify it and its contents. For example, the number of packets in a sequence of packets, the address of the computer or network to which it is being sent, the computer or network it has come from, as well as whatever data the packet contains, there are also start and stop bits to indicate the start and the end of the packet. On a network, synchronous transmission and an asynchronous transmission are the methods used to regulate the sending of the data. For two devices to communicate, there needs to be a signal which synchronizes the transmission on receipt of the data. This is called the clocking signal. When both devices send and receive the same clocking signal, they are able to communicate in tandem and successfully transfer data. The DCE in the network system normally sends the clocking or synchronous signal. This may be a router, WAP or switch. The clock rate is the bit rate set by the network administrator on some systems, but may be automatic on others. Asynchronous means without clocking, and is used to refer to a system which will communicate one way on demand. Examples include computers to printers communication, and computer to keyboard and mouse. While this type of communication may be local to the computer, the technology used is the same for the network connection.